and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some more Dredge. Played this a couple of days ago. Um, everybody was really liking it. Uh, and I had a lot of requests to play it again and play it in Ranked and give it a try over there. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go ahead and play this in Ranked, um, playing five rounds with it uh, over in Ranked. And you know, ho hopefully we get to go 3-2. That's the goal. Um, I'm switching up, like, so the main deck we're keeping the same as what we played last time. I guess to talk about the main deck a little bit, if you're a little bit newer to the deck, if you don't really know what we are doing with the deck, um, yeah, to find the, the band, okay, there, thanks, Jay-Z1, you got that taken care of. We are trying to mill ourselves, so we are trying to, um, mill ourselves as fast as possible, which makes Drown Secrets probably our most important card in our whole deck to have. With the two mana enchantment, every blue spell we're casting, we're milling ourselves for two. We can really mill ourselves quickly with this card. So this is the card that we want to see in the opener more than any other card. Um, other cards that help mill ourselves, we have these Ashioks uh, that, you know, whenever it says target player puts the top four cards of their library into their graveyard, so we will target ourselves to put the top four cards of our library into the graveyard, and then we'll exile our opponent's graveyard as well. Um, but yeah, we're going to be milling ourselves with Ashiok. Jace, of course, helps us mill as well. Um, so we're, we're trying to mill ourselves, and then we have our payoffs of Narc Amoebas that come into play for free whenever we mill them over. Creeping Chills that deal three to the opponent, and we gain three. And of course, we want to find as many Arc Light Phoenixes as we can uh, and put those these beautiful little birdies into the graveyard so that we can cast three spells and get them back. Mission briefing is really, really critical for this deck uh, to be able to help get that three spell uh, with Arclight Phoenix because this is you know two spells on its own, um, and with Opt being our only one mana spell, it's really important that we have Opt and mission briefing can be another Opt like if we, as long as we have an Opt in the graveyard. So for three mana, we could have two spells with mission briefing, which is pretty important a lot. If attacking our opponent with Arclight Phoenix doesn't work, our other way to win the game is with Jace's passive ability, drawing a card when we have no, when our library has no cards in it. We win a lot of games that way too. Uh, and if those don't really work, if we're playing like against a control deck, what we do is just start pointing our Drown Secrets triggers at the control deck and try to mill them out. So that's another way for us to win is milling out our opponent. Um, instead of us, you know, we can just start targeting all this stuff at them and turn into a mill deck. Uh, I'm trying some new things in the sideboard. Instead of Lava Coils, I'm trying Moment of Cravings. Because um, against, like, Red. Like, Red's just a really tough matchup for us because, you know, <laughs> Red's really, really fast. Our deck is pretty slow. Um, so we're going to try some Moment of Cravings over here. And then I'm also trying Enter the God Eternals because this, this can kind of do everything for us. It does cost five mana, which is a ton, which is the problem, but... It does kind of everything. It gains life, makes a creature that's a really good blocker against aggro, and it mills ourself for four. So that that's something that we even take advantage of as well. So that's the deck. Let's give it a try. Hopefully 3-2, like we were saying. Let's change our avatar. Let's go with Jace. I'm up for challenge. With our dredge deck, with Jace and everything. So we'll head on over to ranked. Um, I am at... We're still in, what is it, like Platinum? I haven't played very much ranked since it reset. So we're not, you know, we were Mythic last season. And I'll get back up to Mythic again. But I haven't played very much ranked at all since it reset. Yeah, we're yeah we're running the red sources for the Phoenixes. Because um, there's definitely times like where you just need to cast your Phoenixes. It happens. Hmm. Gonna keep this with these lands. We're basically just a, a J stack with this hand. It's not a very good hand. But with only 27 lands in the deck, or sorry, 21 lands in the deck, should be able to draw some spells here. It means there's only 17 lands left besides the four in our hand. See, there we go. So right now, Drown Secrets is the card that I'd like to draw. 
With us playing against Grixis control, we may want to just mill out our Grixis control opponent here instead of mill ourselves. No, we're going to mill ourselves. Yeah, I'll keep Discovery. It's a good card. Hmm. Didn't want to draw that other creeping chill, of course. <laughs> My Jace, no. I'll put over here also a watery grave. Sometimes you just cast phoenixes. Attack. Yeah, I don't have any video about that, Radical Guru. So yeah, you struggle with the right mana base for the decks. Stream decks that you have to edit because of lack of cards. Um, wow, that Nickel Bowl's Dragon God is... That's something else. Basically just try to count like the, nother, the number of mana sources in other decks. This Nickel Bolus Dragon God is going to be the end of me. And just you know, try to try to just kind of stay in the same ballpark of like whatever the original list had, numbers wise. I don't I don't really know how I'm gonna beat this Nickel Bowl's Dragon God from here, honestly. Let your weak minds crumble. Alright, we're gonna need to do a better job of drawing Drowned Secrets, especially against like the, the Grixis deck that doesn't have enchantment removal. We're gonna need that card. So now I, I know that I need to mulligan a little bit more aggressively for that card. But this is just going to destroy all my resources with it ticking up every turn. Yeah, I don't even have any spells. Hmm, they have the Ugin that destroys it. Alright, I'm, I'm just picking this up. No, I don't want to show them the Drowned Secrets. Yeah, we could. That was definitely a good time to scoop. Let's get the Ashiok, the Jace, and Negates. Do I actually want Negates? Yeah, probably want Negates.
Yeah, I want the gates. I don't really want God Eternal, even though sure it kills Nicol Bolas. I don't really want that. Um, all right, gonna get rid of the creeping chills. rid of Narc Amoebas. Maybe? Yeah, actually, let's play these. Hmm. No. Not keeping Narc Amoeba. Guess I'm only going to play three Ashiok. And I'll get rid of this chart, of course. I don't I don't know how effective milling them out will be, which is what we usually want to do against control against other control decks. Well, can we draw another land or two? Be able to go Ashiok into Jace? That'd be nice. All right, well, they kept that card on top, so let's definitely mill it. Yeah, get rid of that bolus. Yes, I would like to keep this land. Thank you. That, was, that opt was a good draw. Oh, did they keep... They kept a land on top. So yeah, I, I am just going after the opponent with us having this Drown Secrets this early. Don't you love how when people say good game and then just <laughs> and then continue to then just start to wreck you? Uh, let's see. Just holding the gate. Now nah, let's look for one more land. But as you can tell, like, Grixis has just all this interaction. So that's why I went, that's why I'm going with the mill them plan. Gath Power. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. I really do appreciate that. Thanks, Power. Sub number seven on the day. Get rid of these. So I guess I want the steam vents just to cast this phoenix, I guess. 
Nah, we don't need to cast the Phoenix without the Radical Guru. But I do need the six land, though, actually. So, yeah, I want to keep the six land. Um, Because, actually, I need the six land to be able to play three spells next turn. But, yeah, as you can see, Drown Secrets does mill so fast. I don't think our opponent's going to be killing us. Fast enough here. Hmm. We'll find that land anyway. I guess I could add mission briefing off, but I wanted discovery. Hey, what's up, Narcomiva? Yes, put on the battlefield, please. Birds. All right, they're down to six cards. That should be it. Yeah, the Yoink deck was really, really good. Alright, let's get another Ashiok in here. They have, yeah, Cry the Carnarium and everything. I think we are going to have to mill out our opponent. So I guess I want to enter the God Eternals instead of these Narcomibas. They'll just get swept away. And especially if I'm not milling myself too much. Either. What's Kaya's Ghost Form? What does that card do? Is that like one mana remove five counters from something? <laughs> Yeah, two phoenixes aren't fast enough because the opponent's already dying to mill. So yeah, we, as you can see there, Drown Secrets is going to be my most important card. I, I want to draw Drown Secrets more than anything else. Normally that's the case, but this in particular in this matchup for definitely. As go for it. V enchantment. Enchant creature or planeswalker whenever... Shame if permanent dies or is put into exile, return that card to the battlefield under your control. No, you really don't need to have a slot for that card. Well, can we get land? Ugh. I'm not mulliganing the Drowned Secrets hand on the draw with us having two draws for a land. I mean, the card's just too important. I would, I would rather try to draw a land in the two draw steps. Oh no. Then go look at six new cards and try to find it again. Didn't work though. Well, that's probably game. Dang. Our opponent. Oh no. There they have land. I honestly don't regret keeping that. Because, you know, we have all like that card draw that we had at two mana. All we had to do is just draw a land, and I think that we were in a really good spot. Or at least a better spot than what six random cards would give us. If we had London Mulligan, I'm, I think I'm mulliganing that with the London Mulligan rule, though. Yeah, we're only running 21 lands.
Yeah, I, I do think the Lend a Mulligan rule would help this deck. Well, while... Okay, well, while it would help this deck, it would also help... You know, it's going to help every deck. And other decks being more consistent and faster is not a good thing for this deck. I think this this deck's probably too slow for best of one. Well, as long as you get to avoid mono red, you you do you don't want to face mono red with this deck in best of one at all. But if you're facing control decks in best of one, you'll be good to go then. Like, so I guess it's kind of up to up to what you're gonna face there. So is this hero or full out control? Trust me, you'll thank me later. I've got it. I'm milling myself with this being game one. Um, usually they have, you know, like a little less interaction game one. Um, Let's try this. Oh, it's a Planeswalker deck. Okay. It's them. My yeah, I, I want to find the Phoenixes, basically. Usually people are a little less less good against Arclight Phoenix game one. So, yeah, definitely want to find Phoenix. <laughs> Not draw Phoenix. Silly deck. Um... All right, so we need lands, so let's go Discovery. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be able to get back Phoenix this, this turn, but I want a land drop. I'm going to have to wait till next turn to actually get Phoenix's back. So let's play the Narcomoeba here. Fortunate. Think. Here we go. All right, so we need another land, but we know three cards down is not a land. Hmm. So the greedy play is to radical idea away the arc light phoenix. The safer play is just to go mission briefing, mission briefing opt, and then opt in hand, and then I get back this phoenix for sure. I guess we'll start with the, let's start with the opt, see what we have. Okay, that's the land. Let's keep that. So land's going to let us go radical idea, ditch phoenix and then i guess i have to ditch jace um hmm no i'll ditch a mission briefing You kill that one, you kill this one, and I don't really care about Kasmina. You attack there. That go according to plan. Hmm. 
<clears throat> so this next turn, I can play Drown Secrets and Jace and draw a card. I'll just get the Phoenixes back next turn. A manipulation of the mind. Decisions, decisions, decisions. But this is looking really good for us. Yeah, had a, had a really nice turn that previous one, for sure. This isn't a fight you can win. I'm not ready for this quite yet. All right, that's fine. Hmm. All right, can't handle the Phoenixes. So Planeswalker deck, I think it's basically just not play Chill and play Negate instead. Maybe I don't actually want extra Jace and extra Ashiok. I think maybe I just want to do that. Take out chill for negate, and let's keep everything else the same. Let's try this. Give this a try. <laughs> All right, no thought erasure. Kind of regretting not keeping that land. Go, Narcomoeba. 1-1 one, one Flyer, you can get there. You can get there, little buddy. I'm known for my excellent timing. <laughs> I'll protect you. No, my 1-1 one, one Flyer. Whatever will I do? I think I would just mill myself here. I don't know. I could see, I could see going after them. No, I think we need Drown Secrets to really go after them. Behold, my there we go. Of fear. Oh, I've done the hero. Yeah, Bantex are really really strong for sure. These days. Hmm. This is my last. Well, definitely regretting not keeping that land earlier. Well, that didn't pan out. I can't play instant speed stuff, you know, I can't hold up negate. I've got time. Hey Blue Jin, good afternoon. Keep an open mind. Narset's a huge problem. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. 
You're fine. Well, I can draw a card on their turn with the radical idea. Hone your prowess. Before action. Maybe I should just be milling them out. I should have just been milling them out the whole time with Ashiok. I don't know, we got the second Narcomoeba. Nar Nar Narcomoeba's cool. How many ops do I have in here? I have all four ops. Okay, well. Elder Spell. that thing I'm I'm doing this before activating Ashiok cuz I want to exile the Narset I must train harder you and I suppose I that's how it's meant you will be haunted by We need to move quickly. I kind of want to just keep these negates up. Or I kind of want to keep negate up right now. Also need land drops, of course. Land, yay. I'm at twenty four. I leave you with only time I will tell. All right, keeping this other Arclight Phoenix in for a little bit of surprise so they don't know about it. That's why I cast the Radical Idea. Yeah, that thing doesn't do anything. I see great potential in you. We are the future. All right. Good old Narcomibos and Phoenixes. All right, one and one. That felt like a pretty good matchup for us. I think that's something we'd want to play against a lot. So hopefully, <clears throat> hopefully we can see some more Esper Walkers, Esper Super Friends. Hey, what's up, Duke? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Sub number eight on the day. Hmm, that's going to be a mulligan from me. Ugh. I mean, I guess I keep it. I don't really want to go to five. 
and that hurts, putting the Phoenix on the bottom. Psychotropic, also with that support. Thank you so much. Keeping those hype boats going. Love it. All right, one more subscriber. And we'll be cracking open that pack that we got earlier. Go, Narcomoeba. You can do it. You can get him. You definitely can't can't be afraid to cast your Narcomoebas with this deck. So the the previous the previous matchup uh, casting Narcomoeba helped out quite a bit. All right, more Esper. Our hand is pretty bad, but besides that, I like this matchup. Well, depending on what they have. This is a more aggressive Esper version, then I wouldn't like that. The more controlling, the better. No counter spells? Hooray! Don't worry. This is all just an illusion. It's how you play the hand of death. <laughs> well, mission briefing not so good right now. Is our hands good against Thought Erasure? Yeah, I have a cat and two dogs for pets. Hey London. Hawkeye's got a lot of emotes. This will come in handy. Hmm. There's no opt over here, is there? No. Thanks, Anomaly. Sub number 10 on the day. Getting that hype in there. Um, so I needed, like, draw and opt. I think I'll wait a turn and see if we hit a six land because you know six land would help us get back Phoenix also. <laughs> oh. This Dark of Eva is too fierce. Too fierce. Can't handle the damage. Get the Narcobeeva over there. Guess I'm just casting this radical idea. But I don't actually have to discard something. The birds! Yeah, I like, I've liked Narcomoeba. But I could see you thinking it's a wasted slot. I don't know. I've been happy with them. Always an answer. There we go. Now we got some ops in here. Now we're doing it. Now we're doing it. Let's go opt first. Ugh. I don't want to draw a creeping chill. Alright, do I have a good two mana spell also? 
No, not really. So it's just opt again. Seeing if I hit like a discovery to put over there. I should kill him. Though, with these creeping chills. Give me that Ashiok. <laughs> Why is this deck so good? I don't know, it just has a lot of velocity. Drown Secrets is awesome. Jace is awesome. Alright, let's take out the chills. And I'm going to take out, I guess I'll take out one Narc Amoeba. I don't know, the Narc Amoebas have been good. Of just like, just pressuring the opponent just a little bit. Hmm. I do want this other Jason here, though. So I guess I guess we're going to two Ashiok. I don't know, Ashiok's good in this matchup also. Yeah, we're just going to Ashiok. Yeah, no, I'm not I can't take out the jellyfish. Jellyfish too strong. Every time I play this deck, I start with two Narcomevas and Creeping Chills in my hand. Uh, you gotta start with Drown Secrets. You gotta like at the beginning of the game think about Drown Secrets. You know, like right now, picture Drown Secrets being in the opening hand. Like whenever you look at the seven, think of Drown Secrets. It's gonna be like the third or fourth card. It'll be right there. That'll be the Drown Secrets. That's what you gotta do. No, don't pick. Don't picture three Narc Amoeba. No. Is that an effective answer for Lyra? No, not at all. Nope. Uh, Drown Secrets is your answer to Lyra. Mill your opponent out if they have Lyra, I guess. I don't know. I <laughs> need more Fibble Thip. Our opponent having Kaya? No, we don't want our opponent to have Kaya to exile my birdies. That'd be mean. No drown secret. The hand's good though. I mean, like all these cards are good. You know, Opt can hopefully find more land than Discovery finds more land. It's not a bad hand. Hmm. I'll try this. Thanks, Cali Commuter. That's fine. We'll just cast. Yeah, we'll be casting Opt on turn two to play a land and cast Discovery on turn three. Get some more lands. Fine. Mind and body should move and meditate and prepare. That card's cheating. That card is cheating. Definitely do not like seeing the history of Benalia either. So they're going pretty aggressive here. <coughs> Sloppy technique. So yeah, we don't actually get to draw the card, but we at least 
get to look for lands and surveil some over. I'm gonna be in this history of Benalia. Ow. Let's go to game three. Turned out I need to have negate on turn two or turn three. Either one of those. Yeah, I expect my opponent to keep Benali in. Yeah, I'm expecting that. Let's put the phone down here. Ugh. All right, we can't. I tried this like on the draw, but on the play, I'm not going to keep that. Perfect. Perfect. And waiting till after opt before I play the drown secrets, or but sorry, waiting till after the drown secrets before I play the opt. The real question is, who do I mill? Do I mill them or mill me? That's the real question. Mill them. Hey, Junk. Oh, yeah. We, yeah, we never take Phoenix out. Yeah, Phoenixes are in here. So yeah, basically Phoenix and Narcomoeba are like the two reasons to mill me. Yeah, get rid of that Teferi, you know, the Kaya. I guess radical idea also. But getting rid of their library. It's a matter of give and take. There's a history. It's a reason to mill them. I think I can get rid of 42 cards before they kill me. So I'm hoping. I can no longer stand by and watch. Trust me, I have a plan. Definitely really like getting rid of the history. Try this. I guess maybe I should have just kept mission briefing negate for this turn. I guess I, I don't have negate up this turn now because I played the drown secrets. But no, I got I got to play drown secrets. The card's too important. I'll have mission briefing negate the next turn. Oh wait, Teferi, right? I can't radical idea. Right, on their turn, because it's a fairy. Whoops. Gosh, these planeswalkers. Yeah, I need just a radical idea on my turn. Here goes nothing. If you show remorse, I'll Let's Yeah, draw more cards. Do that.
<laughs> I'll plan better next time. Well, that could be a problem. Hmm. Now that is a lot of trouble. I guess I need to mill myself now. Guys, I guess I need phoenixes. I'm always a step ahead. It's a matter of give and take. So that's a big problem. Hey, Zerf, going that's good. Like it. That Elder spell Keep with it, getting that extra loyalty. I wasn't even scared of the Teferi until that extra loyalty. Because, honestly, I wasn't really that scared. But now with this extra loyalty, we we got to find like multiple Phoenixes to attack here. I don't really know how we're going to do that. We have to get lucky. I'm assuming multiple, because I'm assuming they have, like, one removal spell. Where are my phoenixes? Uh, I'm just getting punished for not milling me earlier. No phoenixes around here. Wow, we didn't even see a single phoenix. Yeah, not even a one. Oh, I could have just milled my opponent for a bunch with Drown Secrets, but... So what if I would have just played this Drown Secrets in hand, and then Mission Briefing, Discovery, that would have been, and then like the Jace target them, and like last last turn target them, but like this turn it would have been two, um, four, I will phase you eight, out of the time stream. ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, so this turn we would have milled 14. Here we go. Fortunately, now what? I won't have to remember this. And last turn we milled like four, so it would have been like 18. We'll put them down to 15 cards. Yeah, I, I guess I'd, I just needed to just to mill them. I guess I did. I was asking, I was trying to get Phoenix, you know, and, and to attack Teferi, but, you know, so obviously looking back on it that we didn't hit any Phoenixes, it looks bad. Um, I guess I just needed to do this last time. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have wavered. I, I got too scared. I shouldn't have been so scared of of the T Teferi emblem because they still actually have to kill me, and and I was milling a bunch, and so I sh I should have just tried to keep milling them and try to mill over their their things that actually kill me, like the history banalias. All right, so. Good learning experience, though. You know, like, I've, 
I've only played this deck a, a handful of times, and so kind of a, a good learning experience of like Teferi Emblem. I was too scared of it, I think, to begin with. Because they could be close to like, you know, around like 18 cards deeper. I could have already milled them. But then I wouldn't have drawn all these Drown Secrets, though, probably, because I would have, I would not have milled over all the other cards and found these Drown Secrets. I've been pretty fortunate drawing these Drown Secrets, to be honest. My mind needs a rest. I really should have seen that coming. I think I, I can still win. 20 cards over there. Game's not over yet. The focused and disciplined encounter no obstacles. Double binding, huh? Like I said, I think I have to sit back and, and block these knights. Blue spell, just keep it on top. Of time. I couldn't kill Nar Narset. has five loyalty. I couldn't kill Narset. But I think I got him. Oh, yeah, I, I should have. Yeah, you're right. I should have opted. I don't know why I was I was thinking I was tapped out for some reason. I was I was just you know like thinking about my next turn and everything. I don't, I don't know why. I just thought I was I was tapped out. I wonder if I should dispersal. Yeah, I should have opted with the the previous one. Yeah, because I could only really cast two cards anyway, right? Nah. I cast all these. I guess I need to find like Jace or Yeah, like these are fine, whatever. Doesn't matter. So I definitely would have milled them out. Um but I think I still mill them out. So they, they have to kill me this turn. 
I don't I don't really know how they can kill me this turn. Here we go, two and one. All right, so during that that one, we did hit that that first sub goal of the day, which is awesome. So we're gonna crack a pack for that. Wow, a Kefnet! Whoa, what a pack! Ooh, we're getting those mythics. That is awesome. What a great pack there. Getting another Kefnet. That's Kefnet number four for me. I had three before, but definitely want mythics because I'm running out of rares to open up in the set. I almost have four of all the rares, so getting a, a mythic is always very good. So is the, this dredge deck gone from being just fun to being genu genuinely good? Um, I don't know if it's genuinely good yet. That's what we're still kind of testing out. But it is, it's definitely not a bad deck. We've had good success with it. Um, and it is a whole lot of fun. We've beaten a couple control decks here. Control decks are really what we want to be facing. Still not... I don't know about genuinely good yet, but it's... It's a real deck that I would not be ashamed at all playing like at FNM and all that kind of stuff. I'm not sure if I would want to take this to a tournament. I did draw all four of my Drown Secrets there, though, and if I was milling my... So the thing is, is if I was if I was milling my opponent the last game from the beginning... Or, sorry, I was from the beginning, but if I just kept on doing it, I may not have drawn all those Drown Secrets, and maybe the Teferi Emblem exiles the Drown Secrets in time. But probably not. I think... Probably not. We probably just win that. Yep, that was the pack that I just opened. The 1 billion pack. The free pack. That was the one I just opened, and that's was that Kefnet. That was good. Uh, n not a big fan of Champion of the Flame. Um, I don't, I don't think a Champion of the Flame equipment like the equipment's just not good enough in standard to to make you want to play that. Two phoenixes. All right, I need one more land, because then I can opt briefing opt if I have one more land. Ooh, got the land. Do this. This is my chill out. Yeah, I'll take another briefing. It's a good card. Honestly, I should probably no. I, I'm I'm going to be milling myself again. That's right with the drown secret, so we don't need to keep the the land. More blockers. Um, no. Keep this damage going. We got three more creeping chills in this deck. That if we, you know, three creeping chills, that's nine damage. Get some more phoenixes. Your final terror is upon you. Do I have charter course in here? Somewhere? Oh wait, we just we just did this radical idea. 
That'll work. I can radical idea away this Phoenix. There was a charter course, though. Well, it's too late now. Oh no no I should go bottom, right? No whatever we'll just we'll just take it. That's fine. Birdies. Well, this was like a a great hand for us. I don't think our hand gets much better than this. Kefnet on... Or sorry, sorry, Drown Secrets... Sorry, someone said Kefnet in chat. Drown Secrets on two, Ashiok on three, and then we started going crazy on four. On four, we were already bringing back Phoenixes, and then five, bringing back more Phoenixes. That's about as good as our deck does. And yeah, this doesn't really seem like a matchup that I want to sideboard. I think I want to just keep my main deck and just do my main deck stuff. Yeah, that was a that was a really sweet hand. The R next to it means that we're playing it in ranked. And so the ranked decks I just play five matches. I could I could cut Ashiok here in this matchup. Maybe I should be doing that. Especially on the draw, how they can like attack Ashiok. But Milling four is pretty nice. Even like mill four gain some life, gain four life. Not bad for three mana card. That's like the worst case scenario. Mill four, gain four. Um, I haven't been super impressed with feather decks in general, but. Uh, so, but I also don't have like a ton of experience with them, like the traditional ones. I have a Naya Feather deck that I really like. That's really just more like a Naya Aggro, Naya uh, Hero Precinct One Aggro deck. So what if I'm casting Narcomoebe on two and then casting Phoenix and casting Phoenix? That's probably not what I want to be doing. Unfortunately, all these lands... Yeah, I'm just going to keep this island so we can actually play the Drown Secrets on two. We're going to need some more lands to bring back the Phoenixes anyway. Yeah, this deck in modern with like thought, yeah, thought scours and all sorts of stuff. Who knows? Like maybe you can have some pretty decent cards there. So basically the same from both of us, same hands except for I'm on the draw this time. Uh, I could use those cards. Welcome to my world of night. But opponent has the exact same turn two and turn three. I have the exact same turn two and turn three. London Mulligan's already here. But <laughs> problem is I'm on the draw this time, so the Ashiok's going to die. I aspired for more. Oh, no. Deputy of Detention. That was not a card I was thinking about with sideboarding. All right, so... I think I want... All right, so we're going to have Ritual of Suts in here. Um, yeah, I need Ritual of Suts in here. All right, so I'm going to be taking out Ashiox, I think, for Suts. Hey, thanks, Zexion.
Not the best milling, though. We've just milled like all of our enablers, or all of our acceleration, I guess. Better word. Sub number 12 on the day. Six months. Get that new tie icon. Awesome. No ops in here. This isn't over until we figure out a solution. Yeah, I need these. It's sad, but I, I, I mean, I need six lands to be able to cast three spells in a turn. Creeping chill, it's the wrong spot to be. No, Phoenix, didn't find any phoenixes to bring back. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I'm done. Alright, bring in two ritual of sets and a cast down. Let's do that instead of these Ashioks. I feel like Enter the God Eternals is going to be pretty slow. And yes, I know like it can kill a Shalai, but I don't think that killing a Shalai is really something that I am too worried about. Oh gosh, these hands. Not good hands. <laughs> well, at least the, the first one was really good. At least our first hand was awesome. The first, you know, game one that I'm talking about. Yeah, it kind of looked like negate there. It's definitely considering not playing anything and just passing the turn. So it's definitely Frilled Mystic how they shock in there and, and everything. So 
know our opponent has Frilled Mystic. Down to 11. We will not fail. Well, that's a problem. The land fights for us. That's a fast clock. That's a very fast clock. So yeah, basically just threw away that mission briefing. Huh. Interesting. All right, well, we're going at him. You know, maybe we get lucky and hit, like, a couple creeping chills with, like, a mission briefing kind of thing. All I gotta do is hit two creeping chills for lethal. Behold, nature's true power. Yeah, maybe it was just a, a huge bluff and they don't have a frill mystic. Likely, though, they just expected the Phoenix to come back the next turn and didn't want to counter it. Wow. Double chill. Double chill. Oh my gosh. I think I think we're doing it. Oh no no no. I just chose the wrong card. I just I just got excited with the chills. But I think we're doing it anyway. I just chose the wrong card with, with uh, the mission briefing, whatever, it doesn't matter. The card I was going to choose was Discovery, but we have a Discovery in hand anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yep, they had the Frilled Mystic. But Double Chill puts him down to one. The actual Perfects, the Double Chill. Wow. Double Chill. Yeah, I should have countered that Phoenix. That was awesome. This is like, like that's like honestly what we need is we needed two chills on top. Because we couldn't cast three spells there. Wow. Calculated. <laughs> wow, we got around that Frill Mystic with our Mold of Five, had nothing, our opponent shocked like three times. Let us have a phoenix to hit them. Just let us kill them with a with creeping chills. 
Yeah, Gatsby, you just joined right in time. <laughs> wow. So we're going to be able to, even if we lose this, we're going to get the 3-2, which is really what I was what I was hoping for here with Ranked. Uh, so definitely su success here, and it can only go up. It can only, like, maybe 4-1. Our opponent is a really good Magic player here. They, I played against Clyde the Glide Drexler on Magic Online for years and years. Played against them tons and tons and tons. So, definitely a very good player here. All right, look for Drown Secrets. Not Drown Secrets. It's also not Drown Secrets. Yep, absolutely guessed. Sure can. Yeah, moved moved yours back over to fourth there, because... Yeah, but yeah, you're here, so yeah, I'll get your donation deck up next after this. <laughs> oh, Narcomy Buzz. Not our best cards to be drawn here, those Narcomibas. <clears throat> admittedly. Alright, I, I mean, I deserve it after last game. After all the luck we had that last game to win that one. So your one mana one one also adds more mana. Well, my two mana one one flies, so that's cool. All right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna switch to these two. So I need to draw Opt to be able to get back the Phoenix. To be able to kill Nyssa. But even then, this is a whole lot of stuff now. Turns out Nyssa is good against me. Alright, where's an Opt? There's an Opt. I could use the fifth land for next turn. I must seek comfort in the land. We're gonna have to hit some chills to gain some life. Oh yeah, their deck looks really strong because they had turn three Nissa. <laughs> you know, the two Llanowar Elves turn three Nissa. I mean, it doesn't really get better than that. I am pretty dead. Yep, that's going to gonna be no more phoenixes or anything yep this is definitely a ritual of sub matchup let's get those things in 
and the cast down. We'll sideboard just like we did last time. Two sets and a cast down in over these Ashioks. And we're going to hope our opponent doesn't have turn three Nissa. Nissa is a really hard hard card for me to beat because it's just so such a fast clock. The, all those three threes, we have to you know have our good fast hands with you know drown secrets and everything to compete with Nissa. Like if I don't have drown secrets, I'm not competing with Nissa basically. We're going to try to not draw Narcomoeba, Narcomoeba, Narcomoeba also. Those are three draw steps back to back to back. That didn't help. I have to say, that did not help us. Yay, no land Elf. Good start for us. Unfortunately, you know, it's really unfortunate to have these creeping chills here, but oh well. Not getting rid of the Drowned Secrets hand. Um... Do I let Duress just take an opt? Or do I just throw both ops away? Guess I throw both ops away. Ah! Oh, those are two good cards. Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix. Uh, am I gonna? I'm probably gonna need a fifth land, right? Sure. Lands are good. Phoenix. I don't want that land. Oh, I guess I guess I have to just ditch both of these because whenever I cast the opt, I'm gonna mill over two more cards. Ugh. Only one Phoenix. And we've used both. Both other creeping chills, so like all the creeping chills are gone. Ugh, that's bad. All right, can I hit all three phoenixes? Can we kill our opponent? Where's the red cards? There they are. All 
All right, mission briefing, a mission briefing. So we can, so both of those mill four cards. We need two more phoenixes out of these 25. There's another one. We need one last phoenix. Last phoenix, top two cards. Ah, didn't quite get there. Uh, we'll go bottom there. And that's why mission briefing's strong. Mission briefing, a mission briefing. That was a great top deck for us. Yeah, we just didn't even need to mill the contempt after at that point. Cause you know, them especially once we hit the second Phoenix, them casting contempt, they were still dead. <laughs> I can't believe this is working. <laughs> Yeah, as you saw there, like we, that game our opponent didn't have a land of war elf, and we had drowned secrets. So let's let's hope that happens again. No land of war elf over there, and drowned secrets over here. This was a donation deck originally. Yeah, I, I did not build this. I've switched up the sideboard, some, and the only thing I added in was the Ashiox in the main instead of the Wanda Vertebrae. Oh, this is working. All right, no duress, no duress, no duress. Let me play this Drowned Secrets. Pass turn. Uh, well, I guess that's all I could hope for. All right, I wouldn't mind something to actually play this next turn, because I don't think I just want a mission briefing with nothing else, right? Rude. All right, shocking in watery grave. Well, I guess I guess we just drew another black source, but I was doing that anyway to. Uh, I was doing that so like to keep them from field ruining my black source, but we just drew another one, so I guess I didn't need to do that. Um, that was unfortunate. We milled over another drown secrets and drew Narcomuba. Can we switch those up? I'm just gonna do this just to make sure that they don't get to they can't kill Jace. If I play you know, if I play a Phoenix to block, if they kill Phoenix, you know, like they can tempt Phoenix, then they attack Jace and kill Jace. This I think I block for Jace. No, maybe not. Yeah, I'm gonna block. That's unfortunate.
All right, so if I if I radical idea the the phoenix, then I if I don't like let's say I draw a land, then I have to cast the mission briefing for the third spell, and I I really don't want to just waste the mission briefing like that. So I'm gonna wait till, so I'm just hard cast. You know, we drew the other red land, so I'm just gonna hard cast this phoenix. Um, where next turn I can radical idea this phoenix and mission briefing a discovery and get them all back, kind of thing. Huh. I mean, these are good cards for getting back phoenixes. I guess I want to be keeping these. Do that or ditch them. Oh, ditching them. Do we get rewarded? Wow, super rewarded. Two Narc Amoebas. So yeah, I wanted to find like my last Phoenix or more chills here uh because you know if we hit if we hit a chill or another phoenix we were like you know attacking for lethal but all right so how many mission briefings is this that i've gone through because i could really use another mission briefing one two it's only two that's what i thought so that's the other card i was also just digging for a mission briefing Yeah, get a land out of my deck, please. Thank you. Really don't want to draw a land. Because <clears throat> mission briefing, we could, like, mission briefing Ritual of Soot, for example. All right, so they did not draw that Nyssa. Um... I think I can just take this. And this could just be like Cry of the Carnarium here. And Arclight Phoenix. Getting it done. 4 1 with Dredge. The good old 4 1. GG. Got there. This deck's just a lot of fun. It really is. Um, so I think after playing those games, even against like the control deck, I'm thinking we don't really need the. Ashiok in the sideboard. I don't think we need the fourth Ashiok, basically. I think we could use a, a third Ritual of Soot, though. I think that would be the one thing I would change against those green mana creature decks. Maybe have three Ritual of Soots. 
to be able to find. Um, yeah, and I'll try this, you know, I'm just going to make that one little change there for the next time. But as we saw, even against those control decks, I didn't really need to bring in that fourth Ashiok. Because I think I just want to bring in, like, the negates for the creeping chills. And I actually want to cut an Ashiok for the other Jace. Which honestly maybe means that I should just be playing four Jace main deck. Honestly, that could maybe be the thing. Jace is pretty good. Maybe this should just be, like, four Jace main, cut one of these Ashioks. Probably should. I never really brought in Enter the God Eternals. It's Enter the God Eternals is for mono red for the most part. If we if we make that change, yeah, I, I think that's a good change. If we make that change, you know, we we save that sideboard slot where we don't have to have that other Jace in the sideboard, and we can have like a fourth moment of craving for Mono Red, um, or a third enter the God Eternals, um, kind of thing. We we'll probably just want like a fourth moment of craving. That should help out against Mono Red there. Hmm. All right, so that's Dredge. A uh, really fun deck. And yeah, went 4-1 there in ranked. Very nice. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, I hope you liked the video. And please hit the like button if you did. I'd really appreciate that. Um, subscribe to the channel. Also a good way to get updates for the, all the other videos as well. Uh, but that's it here for Dredge. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you for another video.